Restaurants' ratings are very important for everyone, right? According to research, consumers are 31% more likely to spend if a restaurant has excellent reviews. 72% of customers state that positive reviews give them more trust in the local restaurant that they spend their money in. Knowing that information, you would think that guest satisfaction will be at the top of the restaurant's priority in order to gain more positive reviews. I guess not. In today's video, I will be doing something I have never done before. I will be going to one star restaurant restaurants in London that I have found on TripAdvisor and I will try their best recommended foods. Once I have been wined and dined, I will rate the food, the service and my overall experience. My only rule for this challenge is that I have to leave an honest 5 star review of the restaurant. This might be hard considering the type of restaurant I will be going to. Watch to the end as some of my experiences were horrible. You want to serve me at all? I've got money to spend here. I hope you enjoyed the video and shout out to Ryan Trahan for the idea. I have managed to sneak my way into one star restaurant. This place is called Restaurante Roma. It's an Italian restaurant on the corner of Leicester Square. We're gonna eat here, we're gonna rate the food. Obviously you know that my main goal is to give it a five star rating, an honest five star rating. So uh, we're gonna read the reviews quickly and see what it's about. Alright, yeah, we're gonna order in about five minutes. Yeah, cheers, thank you, thank you. Alright, it's good customer service. Do you know what I mean? They come to you and offer, yeah, it's alright. This person said she went for breakfast, that the service was slow, smoked salmon and scrambled egg. No wonder the egg was covered up. It looked like egg fried rice without the rice and the salad. What's that? It looks like I'm a bad reader, but some of these people actually can't. You don't need to be the It's calm. I'm the cameraman for today. But you know, we're here. I'm here. We're going to order. What are you going to order? Let's see what. Pasta, bro. Pasta? It's Italian. Yeah, I mean. Pizza Italian, no? Yeah, but you need a full experience. Okay, what pasta? We'll see. Um, I want to get a carbonara, but I don't want bacon. I can switch it out for chicken, though. And it'll be more like a chicken and Alfredo. I think I'll get, yeah. Damn, why is that so expensive, though? 20 pounds for pasta. I think I'll get the carbonara and I'll switch the bacon out for. Chicken, no pork on my fork. Oh, I was. Cool. Can I get um, say French fries? Can I get a portion of French fries? Yeah, sure. And then can I get the carbonara, but without the bacon? Can I switch it for chicken instead? Yeah, sure. Is it the same price or is the price yeah, different? So, no. Okay, cool. And then um, drinks. Can I get no Fanta, please? Yes, Fanta. That's it. Thank, yeah, you. thank you very much. Say hi to the camera. Yes, yes. Say hi to the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is gonna get a five star rating. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a five star. No, it's, it's in the camera. Yeah, it's in the camera. So you know. <laughs> I like people like that. Yeah, I like people story. like that. Got my Fanta here, orange juice here. You can't go wrong with the drinks in it, so I'm just gonna not review the drinks because you can't go wrong. This food is taking too long for my liking. I'm an impatient guy. That's for me. Thank you, boss. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Parmesan cheese. Yes, please. Jeez. Yes, more, more, please. Just keep, keep going. Just keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah. Keep it coming. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Okay. You've got our food. A carbonara without the bacon. We switch the bacon for chicken. And this guy got French fries. Cool. Let's try this food. The review said that the fries are reheated. Well, how do reheated fries taste? I'm gonna put. Ketchup on the tissue. Ketchup there. Trying the first fry at this restaurant. Need one more to test it. Wait. It's got a weird texture. I think that's reheated still. So this is bad. They gave me reheated fries. Next time for the pasta. Why have they given me pasta or no spoon? Okay, I'm trying this pasta for the first time. I can't lie. Let's get some ketchup. You know what? This pasta's not bad. First impression, not bad at all. Can't lie, this is slapping. Let me not lie. Who said this is a bad restaurant? Who said this is getting my five star rating? They don't know where I'm from. <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> Hello, boss. Can I get the final bill, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. And the receipt, too, please. Yeah, yeah receipt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah cheers, man. Thank you. Happy? Okay. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Bye. For the Italian restaurant, the food wasn't that bad. I mean, I expected worse, but it wasn't too, too bad. The spaghetti could have been cooked a little bit longer and the chicken could have been fresh because the chicken wasn't fresh. It's, it, it tasted like something straight out of a Costco, you know? It was reheated pre-made chicken that they gave us in the carbonara. So out of 10, I'm giving that food a solid 
six and a half. I'm going to give the service a four out of 10 simply because of how long it took for the food to come. And when the bill came and I took off the service charge, the waiter was a bit, he was a bit funny. Can I take the service charge off please? Yeah. It's like he didn't want to take it off, but he had to take it off because I asked. And the overall experience of that, I would give it out of 10. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, nothing was wrong. I went in, they greeted us, they served us quickly. You know what I mean? The only thing that could have been done better was the food and the wait time for the food. Yeah, when he comes back with all the drinks, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's look at the let's look at the menu. Where are the drinks? Do you want wine? No, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's Sunday, it's Sunday. Hey guys, stop right there. Make sure you like the video, make sure you comment on the video, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. What are we doing? Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. You like some Indian lassi, you know, alcohol, mango lassi, sweet lassi. Mango lassi? I've heard about that mango lassi. You know what? Fresh mango yeah, yeah, Fresh man. mango lassi, yeah, might as well. Go on, we'll take two. No, just one. Just, just one. Oh, just one? Okay, yeah, you get something else. It makes sense, yeah, you get something else. So we've ordered the, well, one mango lassi, and we're going to get something else. for. Really? Um, yeah. 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 We're trying to figure out what we want. Do you have, um, like, a shish? Chicken shish or any type of lamb, lamb shish? shish. You have lamb, lamb shish? Yes. Wait, this one here? Oh, yeah, shish yeah, kebab. Yeah. Okay. Does it come with rice? Or? The salad comes with salad. salad. It comes with salad, so you have to get rice separately, right? Uh, Smart marketing tactic. You make them pay more. See what you're doing there. Uh, this is laugh at him now. <laughs> mm, but I'm a lamb guy. Yeah, then you want a lamb dance. Okay, cool. Let me get the lamb dance. Then a lamb dance. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Any shish kebab? Yeah, I'll get the shish kebab, yeah. And it comes with salad. salad yeah. We want like a little... Oh, Ah, uh, yeah. Damn, £3.95 for bread. Plain man. Plain man, we'll get a plain one. Dark fruit cider. Oh, you got a mango. Lassi, you get mango, mango lassi. lassi, yeah. How much is that one? £6.95. Oh. Okay. So is this the mango lassi? Mango lassi, yeah. Listen, I've had this type of drink before. I know what a mango lassi should taste like. If it's not tasting how it should be tasting, then it's going to be a big, big problem. I'll walk out of this place about paying up. Actually, I wouldn't do that. Mate. That's illegal. But is that legal? Consumers' rights. Oh, the food is coming quickly. Oh, what's this? What's this one? Can you explain these? Uh... This is lime pickle, spicy. Yeah. This is mango chutney, onion yeah. salad, and mint. Wait, this one mango chutney? Mango chutney, yeah. Plain naan bread. That's a proper dump. Proper dump, sorry. <laughs> So I'm gonna just put the mango chutney on the popper dome. Try it. Got mango lassi here, thick. That cow I like my bitch. Yeah, no. Okay, wait, hold on. So I'm talking too much. Tastes like Actimo. You saw this for the first time. And don't know what it was. What do you think this is? What do you think this should be consumed by humans? Is that necessary? Shh, don't burn him. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Can you see that? It's about to fall off the plate. Not I like that. Pardon? This is fantastic. You tell fantastic or not? Oh, yeah, How's okay. the food you tell me? Yeah. No, the food is good, honestly. Look, he's even eating it. He hasn't ate a week. Finish our our. Please, you back your money. That's fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, you back my tea. I don't think it's happening. <laughs> now, we are not making more things because of this. Is she strong. just wanted oh, to add. No, no masala yet yeah, because cinnamon cardamom already. already. How strong? It's a bit. It's, it's not strong, strong. Then she tell not too strong because. All I'm saying well, was she wanted extra masala. Yeah, that's it. Not many masala. Cinnamon cardamom. This is, I can't do more, uh, anything masala here. Don't worry, I know a good place that does Indian tea, I'll take you there, don't worry, one day. So I just want, it's, it's more for food and it's old school, so do you know what? I just, I just asked because I fancied it, but I don't need to yeah. be in it. Yeah, there you go. It's like bad that. energy you know still. That, that's what I'm saying, I've had Kundalini activation today, so I don't, yeah. I know my frequency, so I'm not yeah. gonna let, don't let it go down. heavy sun sap, I'm in the hot air balloon right now. <laughs> 
I need to get your money back. Nah, but that's mean though, man. You can't speak to a customer like that, bro. So, yeah. Boss, man, what have we done? You put her frequency down. Right, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so, you're well, okay, lad. It's magnifique. It's a work of art. The Indian Tandoori restaurant, what can I say? Upon entry, it had a bit of a, a funny smell to the place, let's just say that. The manager, like in the review say, he was a bit pushy. He did try to push 70% of the food onto us and it worked because 70% of the food we ate was recommended by him. So yeah, I guess the reviews were accurate to an extent. The mango lassie, it was a mango, it was just lassie. There wasn't enough mango inside and like, what can I say? It tasted like yogurt, that's all I can say, you know? It was like a yogurt smoothie, you know? The actual food, the little um, spiced lamb and some other bits, the little bits you put popper doms in. I don't know about that, bros. I don't know. But overall, you know what? The main dish, I can't complain. It did take a long time for it to come out. And considering he wasn't in the kitchen as much, it was kind of worrying. The food out of 10, I'm giving it a solid five. It can't get more than a five because it just, it didn't stand out to me, you know? With Indian tandoori, the food has to stand out. That food, it didn't stand out. The service, can't really go wrong. It did take a while for the food to come out, but in that time, he was entertaining us by talking to us about different things, about the shop, about the history. So you know what, the service out of 10, I'll give it a solid nine. And the overall experience, I mean, from start to finish, I can't complain. So overall experience, the Indian tandoori gets a solid 10 out of 10. So what I did do is I did take a picture of the receipt, which you can see now. And I just had to trust that everything that was on the receipt was what we ordered. And anything that we didn't order, wasn't there okay guys for this restaurant there is no rating to be given as you can see behind me we are at palace restaurant you can't really read the palace bit because it's a bit rubbed out it needs a lick of paint let's go all right is it table for two as soon as i entered she kicked us out of the shop the shop was empty and she kicked us out I'm pardon I'm why not because you got camera oh no camera pull away i pull away I will, we'll put away. I won't serve you. You won't serve me at all? Eh? But, okay, we'll put the camera no, down. No, no, I've not served you. Goodbye. I've got money to spend I here. Don't, doesn't matter. I don't, no. no money? No, I don't want to. And she said the reason for that was because of my camera. So I offered to stop recording, put my camera in my bag, and then continue with our meal. But she wasn't having any of it. Surprise, surprise. Which led me to believe it wasn't about my camera. So now you can see the problems you go through to make this content sometimes. Sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's easy, and sometimes it's just impossible, but we get through it, you know? So if you could do me a favor and smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed the content so far. And don't forget to leave a comment down below for any more challenges that you think I should do or any challenges you want me to do on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We try to upload weekly, if not bi-weekly, boom.